At the Marigat District Hospital, this four-year-old is lucky to have survived a brazen bandit attack that led to the death of nine people in Mukutani area of Baringo County. Doctors say he has two bullets lodged into his abdomen. Another one grazed his head. <laughs> This girl also took a hit on the leg, as did this man who was also shot in the stomach. But in, in general the situation is quite tensed. Um, the, 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 the children, we actually uh, found them at the school. They were moved to the school after they were found injured. We brought them to St. Mary's in Nakuru. Uh, in our hospital we don't have it's a, a scan. The boy was later taken to the Nakuru Provincial Hospital for specialized treatment. The attack is suspected to have been carried out by Pokot bandits who, according to the police, were avenging the killing of two of their community members by suspected Ilchamus bandits. The incident taking place despite an ongoing security operation to quell violence that has hit the region for the past several months. <laughs> In his State of the Nation address, President Huru Kenyatta warned area leaders against inciting communities to violence. And we will use all means at our disposal to pursue and bring to justice all those involved in causing this mayhem. The attack coming just weeks after Red Cross temporarily suspended operations following an attack on its personnel in Marigat. In a show of defiance, the bandits are reported to have shot at a convoy of police vehicles used to evacuate pupils of Mukutani Primary School. <laughs> Area Governor Benjamin Cheboy was also present. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV. <laughs>